The Prince by Niccolò Machiavelli. The first who gave renown to this soldiery was Alberigo da Cogno, the Romagnian. From the school of this man sprang, amongst others, Braccio and Sforza, who in their time were the arbiters of Italy. After these came all the other captains who till now have directed the arms of Italy. And the end of all their valor has been that she has been overrun by Charles, robbed by Louis, ravaged by Ferdinand, and insulted by the Switzers. The principle that has guided them has been, first, to lower the credit of infantry so that they might increase their own. They did this because subsisting on their pay and without territory, they were unable to support many soldiers and the few infantry did not give them any authority. So they were led to employ cavalry, with the moderate force of which they were maintained and honored. And affairs were brought to such a pass that, in an army of twenty thousand soldiers, there were not to be found two thousand foot soldiers. They had, besides this, used every art to lessen fatigue and danger to themselves and their soldiers, not killing in the fray, but taking prisoners and liberating without ransom. They did not attack towns at night, nor did the garrisons of the towns attack encampments at night. They did not surround the camp either with stockade or ditch, nor did they campaign in the winter. All these things were permitted by their military rules, and devised by them to avoid, as I have said, both fatigue and dangers. Thus, they have brought Italy to slavery and contempt.